With the amount of use those diapers are going to get I think it'll be better if Junior can't actually remove them. Luna smiled. Pointing the wand at Beatrice she began to chant. Your powers are nullified in those baby clothes. They feed energy to me, so my magic grows. I'll now abuse the power of three. And bond you into diapers, you helpless baby. Beatrice found herself awash with magical energy. Staring down at her diaper it seemed to fasten itself to her skin, like egg sticking to an unoiled frying pan. Sliding her mittened hand against the waistband of the diaper Beatrice found she was completely unable to pull it away from her skin. She lifted her head up to glower at Luna but all she found instead were the three tormentors staring at her. Now that she could move however Beatrice wasn't exactly going to hang around and wait to see what they had planned. Turning she started to sprint for the door. Baby bouncer. Luna commanded. Beatrice tried to force what had just happened out of her mind. She knew, deep down, that she had just been placed in a baby bouncer and whilst her feet hit the gorund and the bungee cords hadn't gone slack yet she wasn't hopeful of how long that situation would last for. As the cords went tight Beatrice found herself being propelled backwards and up. Her back slapped against the ceiling before she was dumped unceremoniously onto her face on the floor. The cords then tightened up more and Beatrice found her feet lifted to just off the floor meaning she was once again captive. Now I think it might be best if you stop running away all the time. Luna mocked moving inches from Beatrice's face. Beatrice tried to kick and punch forward but the baby bouncer held her too rigidly beneath her arms and her legs too high off the ground so she ended up performing a cycling motion in mid-air. Now, now, temper, temper. Luna smiled. If you're getting cranky then perhaps you have a fever. And you don't want me checking for one of those do you? Luna asked. Beatrice thought on this for a second then stopped. Good baby. Luna patronized. Turning to the tormentors Luna laughed. We will have to go shopping to get somebody some more diapers. She jerked her head back to Beatrice. Whatever you dress her in will be fine. But as she's so sad perhaps you should dress her in something special to lift her spirits. Luna affected concern as she orbed out of the room. Piper, Phoebe and Penelope clung to each other as the power of three was forcibly drawn from them. Convulsing Penelope felt like she was on fire as her greatest gift was used to demean her young charge again. We have to stop this. Phoebe said recovering first. That's pretty obvious. Piper stated flatly. But how? We're not even here we're just some memories. We don't know where our bodies are and apparently our souls are somewhere different. Penelope shrugged exasperated. Perhaps I could be of assistance. A blonde-haired fat man asked. The three tormentors crowded around Beatrice. She hung her head in shame as the abominations unceremoniously dumped her out of the baby bouncer and onto the floor. Despite their small size the demons were blessed with the usual increased strength and stamina. Finding a pair of hands down her diaper Beatrice started to turn around only to have another set of hands clamp around her waist and hold her steadily in place. Taking the ripped top out of Beatrice's diaper the tormentors held it up in front of Beatrice. I don't think she can really wear this again. The redhead told the others. You're right. The other two agreed. Oh well I guess we had better go up to Junior's nursery and get her ready to go.